Welcome back to another episode of the Hermit Poetry series. I'm Neil Aiken, and on this channel I read poetry, mostly work by contemporary poets, occasionally poems of my own, and once while poems from the past. Today's poem comes to us from Susan Mitchell from The Water Inside the Water, published by Wesleyan University Press in 1983. This is a poem entitled The Bear. Tonight, the bear comes to the orchard and, balancing on her hind legs, dances under the apple trees, hanging onto their boughs, dragging their branches down to earth. Look again. It is not the bear, but some afterimage of her like the car I once saw in the driveway after the last guest had gone. Snow pulls the apple boughs to the ground. Whatever moves in the orchard, heavy lumbering is clear as wind. The bear is long gone. Drunk on apples, she banged over the trash cans that fall night, then skidded downstream. By now she must be logged in for the winter, unless she is choosy. I imagine her as very choosy, sniffing at the huge logs, pawing them, trying each one on for size, but always coming out again. Until tonight. Tonight sap freezes under her skin. Her breath leaves white apples in the air. She, as she walks, she dozes, listening to the sound of axes chopping wood. Somewhere she can never catch up to. Trees are falling. Chips pile up like snow. When she does find it, finally, the log draws her in as easily as a forest. And for a while, she continues to see, just ahead of her, the moon trapped like a salmon in the ice. That was The Bear by Susan Mitchell from The Water Inside the Water, Wesleyan University Press in 1983. Um, if you enjoyed this reading and this poem, please do check out the description of the video for more information about the poet, Susan Mitchell, as well as a, uh, well, a link to, to purchase the book and more information about other projects and series I'm currently working on. Um, <coughs> I hope you're enjoying the series. I, I know I do. I enjoy creating these videos and reading these poems and celebrating the work of these many wonderful poets, uh, some brand new and contemporary, some from further in the past, and a lot of poems from books that maybe are somewhere in between that we haven't looked at for a few years and are now returning to. Um, but there's wonderful work out there. We are very fortunate to have so much of it available to us, um, whether in print or available online. Um, I encourage you to check out these poets, and I hope that you will uh, support this channel and these poets by sharing these videos on social media. Uh, if you want to support us, you can just hit the like button or subscribe to the channel or comment below if you have suggestions for other poets or other uh, books or other poems to check out. I'm always open to suggestions. And if you yourself are a poet with a book out and would like to be featured, feel free to reach out to me and let me know. I'll do my best to figure out how to get a hold of a copy um, so that I, I can make <laughs> that decision. So I'm up here in Canada, but I'm grateful for the way in which technology enables me to be everywhere, uh, thanks to the wonders of the internet and uh, to the ability to record these videos and share them. Uh, something that couldn't have done 15, 20 years ago in the same way. So I am grateful to all of you and grateful for those of you who are new just joining us as well as those who have been around from the start. Um, thank you all for your support and uh, we'll see you all again very soon. I'm Neil Aiken. This is the Hermit Poetry Series and we'll be back every Tuesday, Thursday and Sunday. Um, and until then, stay safe and well. Keep reading, keep writing, keep being engaged in the world. And keep finding ways to, to build those bridges and form a community and do what you can to, to take your own creative gifts and share them out into the world to participate into that, participate in that larger discussion that art and living affords us and uh, allows us to, to be a part of. So thank you and we'll see you again soon. Until then, take care and goodbye.